Most people don't know this, but Britain once slowed down its fastest fighter on purpose. The Hawker Tempest, the plane famous for chasing V-1 rockets, was actually capable of far more speed than the version that entered combat. Engineers proved it themselves. They built a cooling system that pushed the Tempest to an unbelievable 472 miles per hour, the fastest any Hawker aircraft had ever flown. Test pilot Philip Lucas confirmed it in the air, and then was immediately told to stop flying that configuration. So what happened? On paper, the problem was obvious. The Tempest's big chin radiator dragged the aircraft down. It accounted for more than one-tenth of the plane's total drag, and everyone knew it. Engineers already had a cleaner, smarter setup, cooling units buried inside the wings. That design cut drag dramatically, survived enemy fire better, and didn't cost a penny more to build. And yet, they didn't use it. Money wasn't the barrier. Manufacturing wasn't the barrier. The real trouble sat under the cowling, the Napier Sabre 4 engine. The new cooling system depended on that power plant, and while the hand-built test engines ran beautifully, the production line versions didn't. They overheated, jammed, and even locked solid in mid-air. You can imagine the fear. No pilot wants an engine that decides to quit at 10,000 feet. So engineers were stuck. They could have the faster aircraft on paper, or the reliable aircraft in combat. In the middle of a world war, reliability always wins. The safer, slower version went into service, and the revolutionary wing radiator design was quietly shelved. It wasn't that Britain couldn't build a faster Tempest. It's that the technology needed to make it safe simply wasn't ready, and pilots' lives were worth more than 37 extra miles per hour.